Hey guys, my name's Doug with infotainment.com. Today we're working in the 2013 Plus Ram truck. Um, as you can see, we have some hardware here and two mirrors. What we're doing today is we're installing the factory power folding mirrors into this truck. This is an exciting new product that we're about to release. Uh, these happen to be the tow mirrors which pop up and also down. We also offer the other mirrors that come in chrome and non-chrome as well. Um, so installation is going to be real easy as you're about to see. Uh, you replace the left door module, the right front door module, the driver door switch um, center here, and then last but not least the OBD Genie programmer which actually programs the truck to allow the feature. So as I mentioned installation is real easy. We're about to show you how it works. The uh, driver door panel here. I'm going to pop off this little cover here to expose the single Phillips head screw. We're going to pop off this little part here which gives you access to the bolts or the nuts for the mirror. And then last but not least we're going to want to pop out the um, window control switch here and replace it with the one that's included with the kit. All right, now that we have all of our push pins out, our switch here, Phillips head screw, and this little um, cover here, all we have to do is just lift up on the door panel. Pull it away. And if you have here the little switch connector, remove it there. Now that the door panel has been removed, we're going to want to replace this um, little module here. This is the driver door left hand module. Super easy to do. You have a T20 Torx screwdriver. Remove the two screws. Then we're just going to unplug the connectors here. We then just remove this module and install the module that came with the kit. Okay, now what we're going to want to do is remove the mirror. Now as you can see, there's the tow mirror reinforcement right here. This particular vehicle already has tow mirrors. If you're going from standard mirrors to the tow mirrors, you will need to install these, this piece here. Uh, but for the demonstration in this particular video, all we have to do is remove these three 10 millimeter nuts and that'll allow us to remove the exterior mirror, the tow mirror. Um, it's good to have maybe someone on the outside to kind of hold it or roll down your window and try to stabilize it as you remove it. Um, the first thing we're going to want to do is just pop this out and then we'll remove the three nuts. We can now pull the mirror off and feed the wiring through this little hole. Now what we're going to want to do is feed in the wiring through the same hole. 
then install the mirror, the replacement mirror, the exact same way you pulled the original one off. You'll notice a little clip here. We can pop that into the same spot as the old one. Now all we need to do is just plug in all the connectors into the new module and we'll be done with the driver side mirror. Now that all of our connectors are in place, we can slide our door panel back on and repeat the exact same process on the passenger front door. All right, now that the door panel is all put back into place here, um, there are two different switches that are compatible with our kit. You notice both of them have the power folding mirror button, but the connectors are different. So be sure to let us know what year your Ram truck is upon checkout so we can be sure to send you the right switch set. But it's as easy as just plugging it in. And then popping into place. Now for here, if you did decide to just pop this little part out, this is the ambient light. If your truck is equipped with that, you'll have a little connector here. And this easily just pops back into place. Then just install the Phillips head screw. The upper trim part right here will just pop back into place. And then simply reinstall The last piece of the puzzle is the Power Folding Mirror Genie by OBD Genie. Very easy to use, just put the truck into the run position. And then simply plug it into the OBD2 port under the steering column about 10 seconds after the truck initializes. You'll see a series of lights. The speedometer cluster will reset and you'll notice the green light so it's safe to remove. At this point, you wanna turn the truck off and let it sleep for about two or three minutes. Now that the truck has slept for a few minutes, we can go ahead and try the feature. And you notice the mirrors fold in. Push it again to let it go out. You also notice the blinkers will work. So it also, the, the Genie will also program it not just for the power fold feature, but also for the puddle lights underneath, for the turn signals. And if the truck has an interior auto dimming mirror, the driver's side mirror will also be auto dimming. And as you know, it'll also work in the towing position. Thanks for watching guys and check out infotainment.com.